This is a quick demo video about the new I GitHub issue syncing capabilities of Embedder. <coughs> so as you can see, I've set up my um, GitHub sync settings, which uh, allow me to specify the user and the repository from where I would like to sync my issues and the target requirements module where I would like to import them. So basically I have just one here, so it just shows the one I have. And if I now go to the GitHub page of the repository and create a new issue, which is the test issue, and I'll type some test here, some text here of the issue. And then I submit the new issue. So I go back to the issue list and you can see that it's here and it's just owned by me and nobody's assigned and all that. So if I then go back to Embedder and hit Alt Enter here and select Sync Now, it will just do some work syncing behind the scenes. And when it finishes, I can go to the issue module and I can see that the test issue I've just created is here. Nobody is assigned and it's currently open. So I can go here and assign the contributors of the repository, which are just two people in this case. So I will assign it to me. And then I can go back to the sync settings and say, okay, let's sync it again. Takes a bit, so it finishes it. Then I go back to the website and open the issue. And I can see it that it's now assigned to me. So then if I can I can go here and say okay I would like to close it. So I close it on the website, go back to MPS, zoom again, have a look at the issue and it's now in the state closed. So I can see that it was closed just right now and it's still assigned to me. But I think okay let's open it again. So I will open it here. All the closed stuff disappears because it's not relevant now. And I will just sync again, go to the website, wait a second until the sync is finished and GitHub recognizes that the issue is open again. So the web page will update then. Or I can just update it manually. And as you can see, it reopened. So that's it.